Hey everyone, my name is Nick Vertz. I'm a meteorologist here at the National Weather Service in Billings, Montana. Here to give you all a bit of an update date on the next couple storms we'll be seeing over the next week or so. The first one being late tonight through tomorrow, and the second one being early to mid next week. That'll be a multi-day event. So bottom line is two storm systems will impact the area, and a significant taste of winter is possible by the middle of next week. As much as some may not want to see the word snow in the forecast, the moisture is very badly needed. In a nutshell, there are three po big points to stress with the shift to wetter fall weather. The first system this weekend will bring snow levels down to 8,000 feet, which can impact hunters and firefighters working on higher elevation fires. The second storm is more powerful and will produce well above normal amounts of moisture, which will become snow in certain areas. The dynamic strength of this system makes it a bit more unpredictable regarding exact impacts. October has a history of heavy, wet snowstorms, and these storms have caused problems in the past for hunters, travelers, and livestock. The expected storm totals between the two storms will range from three quarters of an inch to two plus inches. The favorite areas for moisture are definitely the mountains and foothills south and west of Billings and much of southeast Montana. The southeast Montana moisture is mainly expected to be early next week and will mostly fall as rain, but the snow forecast bears monitoring as well as mountain and foothill locations of south central Montana and Sheridan County, Wyoming. The range of rainfall amounts is significant due to the strength of this expected storm system. Focusing on storm system number two next week, the expected moisture amounts can be substantial with multiple days of half inches of moisture possible and a modest chance of multiple days of more than an inch of moisture. The cumulative amounts of precipitation could quickly add up to more than two inches. Even if it does not fall as snow, gravel and dirt roads will become very muddy in certain areas and that is a large concern with this system. And similar rainfall amounts as shown here with their probabilities, could also be applied to many other foothill locations, such as Story, Wyoming, uh, Red Lodge, Montana, and similar areas in the foothills of the Beartooth of Zorka Mountains. Snowfall amounts will be the greatest for, foot, for the foothills and mountains of south central Montana, but some low elevation areas will see their first measurable snow of the season. Most of southeast Montana will be slightly too warm for more than an inch of snow, but areas west of and including buildings could see two inches of snow by Wednesday evening. This is snowfall uh, shown here with probabilities of seeing over than two inches. And there's a good chance that much of the snow will melt though for before accumulating that deep, just because of how warm the ground is right now with how hot it's been recently. When changing over to seeing the probability of seeing over four inches of snow, you can see that lots of the foothill locations retain those high probabilities to see lots of snow. Backcountry travelers will need to be prepared for impossible travel early next week. So please share this information widely so people can plan accordingly, especially if the storm system does produce the higher amounts of possible moisture. We need the moisture, and many areas will get a taste of winter, but the best way to deal with this storm is to prepare before the rain and snow starts falling. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.